Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Deepthi Nair, Senior Consultant, Pediatrics and Unitology, Rainbow Children's Hospital, Sarjapur Road Branch. So today I am here to discuss about the viral infections, predominantly adenoviral infections among children. Uh, viruses like influenza, parainfluenza, RSV, rhinovirus, adenovirus all have been there. But uh, in the last one year, we as pediatricians have seen a sudden surge in uh, adenoviral infections among children. Talking about adenovirus, like uh, more than uh, 50 serotypes have been identified. For the same reason, any child infected once with adenoviral infection is prone to get another infection with another serotype of the virus. So it doesn't offer long-term immunity. Like any other viral infection, adenovirus will suppress the immune system and weaken the body of the child. So the child is prone to catching another infection in the next couple of weeks from a new source. For the same reason, we do advise children to take rest at home to help them with complete recovery. Uh, most common age group that we see would be less than five years presenting with symptoms. The smaller kids, especially infants and uh, less than three year old, would have more severe symptoms owing to their weak immune system. The most common symptoms would be like any other viral infections, fever with upper respiratory symptoms like running nose, sore throat, throat pain, um, some lymph nodes in the neck or dry cough. Fever usually would be quite high in the first 48 hours with or without chills and following that it usually comes down. So the usual duration would be 3 to 4 days. But we do come across some kids who present with some fever of more than uh, 1 week even up to 2 weeks occasionally. Now other symptoms like one third of kids might come with a very bad throat, bad uh, congested and enlarged tonsils with pus pointing similar to any bacterial infection like streptococcus. Some kids do present with uh, a brassy cough or a harsh cough which would indicate uh, some swelling of the upper airway. Uh, infants, especially less than one year old, can have some chest condition which we call bronchiolitis or even pneumonia post uh, adenoviral infections. Uh, another common presentation that we come across is a child presenting with vomiting and uh, abdominal pain followed by fever and usually loose motions. Again, these are self-limiting and they get much better in two to three days. Uh, pink eye is a common presentation. Um, kids presenting with redness in the eyes, some eye discharge, some foreign body sensation, burning or itching in the eyes. Usually it starts with one eye and in the next two, three days, it might spread to the other eye. Again, self-limiting, usually they get better in a week's time. Some kids do uh, continue to have some eye problem, some eye irritation, which might persist in two to three weeks. We do come across kids who do present with rashes, with fever or after the fever subsides, usually it is all over the body, including the palms and soles. Again, it gets better in the next few days. Very rarely, we do come across kids uh, who come back with severe abdominal pain, uh, with appendicitis or mesenteric lymphadenitis, post-viral infection. Now, how to go about the care for such a child with adenoviral infection? There is no specific antiviral treatment for the virus. So it's basically proper rest at home, as I already said, till all the symptoms subside. Good hydration with lots and lots of water, including uh, other fluids like your juices, soups, tender coconut water. The appetite would be down for the next few days. So try offering like small portions of soft food, easily digestible food, and try to feed them in between two spikes of fever. And uh, uh, also it, uh, avoid feeding at the spike of fever because they tend to vomit. So try feeding them in between two spikes of fever. And as pediatricians, we manage each and every child according to the symptoms he or she presents with. So the prevention of adenoviral infection would be predominantly based on uh, proper hand hygiene, uh, before eating and after using the washroom. Uh, train the child to uh, wash the hands properly before taking hands to the eyes, nose or mouth. Proper respiratory etiquette while uh, sneezing or coughing. 
mouth and uh, cover your mouth and nose before sneezing and coughing. And as I already said, uh, allow the ch child to rest at home till complete recovery because that will help uh, boost up the immune system, help the immune system to recover before sending the child to school. Thank you.